Okay, so obviously very happy about the, the win and just uh, really proud of how strong the team came together tonight. Uh, it was a tough battle out there. and Obviously, it's important to uh, win any football game you get a chance at, but I think the bigger bigger story right now is just the display of re resilience that we saw from all of our players. And uh, at the end of the day, that, that can win a lot of football games and certainly I think was a factor tonight for us. Uh, impressed how Deacon stepped in. Tough circumstance and disappointing, uh, most mostly for Cade. Uh, to go down early with an injury like that, we really don't know his status till early next week, but uh, it's nonetheless very disappointing. I can only imagine how he's feeling, but I thought Deacon stepped into a tough situation. Really did a good job leading our football team and, and uh, making good decisions, especially in the second half uh, in some critical situations. Thought he really, really did a good job. So. Uh, obviously, offensively, didn't have a lot of rhythm. Had a couple good drives in the first half, and then uh, didn't have a lot of rhythm uh, during that part. And it's kind of like a multiple uh, array of things. Defensively, you know, um, want to get off the field a little quicker at times, that type of deal. But I thought they showed resiliency and kept uh, kept our opponents out of the end zone. That was certainly you know a big big deal. And you know, I think the bottom line is like you know you watch the game, you can see a lot of things uh, going on. We got a lot of young guys. And uh, some of it's mental, some of it's physical, but we obviously have a lot to work on, you know. And uh, we'll get back to that tomorrow. I think the coaching staff is well aware of what we're trying to get done here, what we need to get done, and the challenge is to get it done and move faster as we move forward here. So, um, you know, we got plenty of work to do. I'm not going to let that ruin tonight, that's for sure. It's just uh, really proud of our team's resilience. And, you know, bottom line right now, we're 4 and 1, puts us at 1 on 1. And, uh, to, to get back up on our feet after a really tough week last week. Just proud of our guys. So that's where we're at right now. We'll celebrate, enjoy this thing tonight, and then we'll go back to work tomorrow. Coach, after your win last or loss last week, how was practice this week after a tough loss? Was it good week? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd be lying if uh, I didn't say some of it lingered a little bit, some of the feel, uh, the sting, if you will. And Monday, I thought we were, we were okay. Uh, Tuesday, we were lacking some things. And then I thought bounce back Wednesday, and we're good the rest of the week. But uh, yeah, that one stung. You know, it was a tough loss, and those aren't much fun when you go through them. But it's credit to our guys. I think we're getting some good leadership from some guys, and um, you know, we have some some bumps right now, some issues we have to deal with, and it's not going to go away. So we got to deal with that and uh, push through it. Does it appear with uh, Cade that it's going to be a multiple week at best type of situation with him? Yeah, I don't want to speculate, but it's you know, it just it always is concerning. The guy has to get helped off the field, and um, yeah, just that if. if you know, just to miss time period right now through what, you know, considering what he's been through, it's really tough. So um, it, it's, you feel bad for any player who gets injured, but in his case, it's just, it's rough. At the moment, anything you've heard on Nick Young, or is that another one you want to know something? Like that? I, yeah, uh, just talking to him in the locker room, it, it seemed like it's not as bad as it could have been. So no dislocation or anything like that, which is good news. What is your confidence level in Deacon Hill? I'm sorry? What is your confidence level in Deacon Hill? Well, you know, Deacon, unfortunately, he's gotten more practice. I don't mean that in a negative way, but he's practiced more than we would have a normal number two guy would because of uh, Cade's, you know, first issue. And um, so, I, you know, I think I've been, you know, benefited him a little bit tonight. But that, that's one thing to practice. It's another thing to step in there when the game's on the line, which it was. And we had a lot of, a lot of football to play. And I thought, I thought he showed good poise and poise out there. He's played with confidence. And his teammates, uh, I think you can see they, they rally around him. They made some good throws and had some uh, – other ones we can probably improve on, but uh, you know, I thought he did a good job for the first time in, in really critical time. What's if Kate uh, does have to miss, spirits. I'll come right back. I'm sorry. How's Kate's spirits doing? I mean, you could probably figure that one out yourself. Not good. Yeah, it's not good. No, no player gets injured. It's people feeling too happy about things. If Kate does have to miss extended time, is that for sure Deacon's job? Is that something? What's kind of Joe Avis's status in that as well? Yeah, so Joe missed a lot of time too, uh, if you remember coming into to camp. So, yeah, right now Deacon would clearly be one, Joe would be two, and we'll just keep pushing forward. Did Deacon give you what you need to succeed on offense, and, and, and how? Well, I mean, he's, he's a different style quarterback. Uh, obviously, he's a big quarterback, but he throws the ball well. Uh, it's his strength, I think. And, um, you know, I thought, I thought tonight we hadn't really seen him in game action, you know, where the game's on the line. And I uh, thought he showed a lot of good things today. So you know, we'll start with that and just keep pushing forward. And his um, uh, wherewithal, his, his presence, you know, on the bench and, and with uh, on the headsets was really good, encouraging. So that's a, that's also a good thing. The last time we saw you lose a starter in a game and, and have a bad to go on like that was with Ricky in 09 and James has to come in. Obviously, yeah. James was cold. I think he played against Iowa State. But did you see?
see the effect of those one reps from Deacon? It, it definitely helps. Yeah, it definitely helps. It's it's tough to be the number two quarterback, and um, but yeah, he's got a little bit more work. But also, he's new to our program, and he hasn't played since twenty, I think. So those are things you, you know you have in the back of your mind. You have to factor that in. So yeah, for him to get out there and uh, play successfully tonight and lead us to a victory, you know, it's, it should be good for his confidence. All that being said, there's a lot of work to do. What did you see on Cooper's uh, punt return? Well, yeah, first of all, uh, boy, talk about it. I'm not sure I would have predicted it based on you know just the way their guy was punting the ball. First of all, he had a couple of rockets uh, that we hadn't seen. So as you know, a couple went over Cooper's head. Uh, gave us really bad field position. And then, you know, uh, somewhere, I guess it was third quarter, uh, fourth quarter, whatever, they had the one that went out of bounds, plus 50 territory. And then, you know, on that one, he got one that we could field. And uh, as you look out there, he's catching the football and the, the gunners, our guys did a good job on their gunners and coverage. There was some space in there. So if Cooper gets space, something good might happen. And uh, he did a great job finishing the play. He's just a really good football player. Well, yeah. I mean, Besides what you just said, how would you define him? Somebody who uh, hasn't seen him play, maybe. Yeah, I just um, just talking on the radio. It just it's you know the movie The Natural. It's like he really good players don't look like they're grinding or working that hard out there, but they are. Uh, but everything he does it just seems to be it's like it's almost instinctive or natural to him. He's got a really good sense in the return game, and that's a big part of it. He's got the courage to field it and. Um, uh, you know, do something with it, and then he, he just has a good knack of knowing how to read things and where to go. And then, same thing on defense. Like he just he he finds a place to be. You know, at the intersection of the ball quite frequently, and um, you know, looked like a tough catch getting the, getting his foot down. But uh, he he makes it somehow. He makes it uh, makes it happen. You had the fourth and one, um, and a kick in the field goal. Yep. Obviously, it ended up paying off. But kind of your thought process there with a few minutes left, you could have gone for the. Yeah, I mean, emo emotionally, I wanted to go for it. Uh, it was my first instinct. And then uh, I think we had a stoppage in play. And then we had to think that something yeah. was going on. So I walked down there, and it was further, a little further than I thought. You know, I thought maybe we could uh, just hit it in there quick. But uh, it was a little further than I thought. And, and then, you know, emotion's one thing, but doing the smart thing was the other. And just felt like it was best to tie the game and let's keep playing. Kirk, it's been interesting watching how opposing offenses has, have kind of attacked you. They've been more so slicing and dicing than attacking downfield. Your secondary hasn't gotten the turnover rate that you've kind of been used to. How important was it for you know Jamari and Sebastian and Cooper to really kind of get things rolling in that direction? Yeah, that, that stuff. If if you're focused on those things, it usually means bad things are going to happen. That's something we try to encourage the players uh, to do. It's just play. You know, play the defense and play your spot. And uh, if it's meant to be, it will be. If you're playing it properly, and that's usually how how we make big plays defensively. Um, so. When, when guys start thinking more about you know getting the pick, that's usually when bad things end up happening. So the, the ones that came tonight were just you know a product the way we're doing things and guys making good plays. They still got to make a good play, but yeah, that, that's we haven't been overly worried about that. Uh, flipping it on the other side though, I mean the, the ball security is <coughs> two weeks in a row now. We've done a poor job with that, and that's uh, that, that's not going to cut it. You know, we've done better in the penalty department that you can't you can't turn the ball over. You know, we had one for a touchdown today. When you look at uh, your wide receivers or your receivers in general, I think there were six drops and five were on passes thrown by Deacon. Was it the change in velocity or anything, or was it just they weren't doing the job? Yeah, there might have been a little touch issue on some of the underneath stuff, maybe. I, I don't know. But I, I still think like, receivers should catch the ball. That's just me. I'm a line coach. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, if you want the ball, catch the ball. And, uh, you know, if we're going to have an offense, we're going to have to do a little bit better in that department. We're going to have to do a little better on blitz pickups. Um, and we missed one of those tonight, which uh, cost us a possession. And, and then ball security and, you know, our run game. I thought, thought we saw some flashes in the second half and the first half. There really wasn't much there in the run game. So, um, you know, we're four, four plus five games into it now. We've we got to do a little better job and figuring out what we can do, given the guys that we have. It's a moving target with uh, – Personnel, but figure out what they can do and try to play to their strengths. But you know, if we're going to throw the ball, we got to catch it, and that's just the way it is, no matter who it is. And uh, then if a guy can make a spark play on top of it, like Eric did today, you know, that's that's good football. That's that's getting things going here a little bit. So, but just like the picks, you know, usually big plays are a byproduct. Guys just doing things right and playing hard, and 
you know, maybe breaking a tackle or doing something a little bit extra. Here's taking two more questions. So that was the first time we got to see uh, uh, Drew Stevens a lot this season. Four for four, yeah. 40 yarder, 53 yarder. What's he bring to the table that gives you a lot of confidence in him? Well, he's just been so consistent, basically. Uh, I think it was 19 to 21 last year or something like that. I think he missed two on the whole season. So um, if you think about where he was a year ago, spring when he was here, and both, both you know, our, our place kicking just looked terrible that spring, maybe as bad as I've seen in a couple of decades. And the improvement he made just from that time, spring to last fall, through the fall, it's impressive. And he's, you know, he's a bigger, more mature kid now, and he's, uh, he's done a really nice job. Fans expressed a lot of frustration at points very loudly about the offense and specifically about Brian. What would be your message to them? Well, I mean, three and outs aren't any fun for anybody. So I get that. And we're working hard to improve that. And that's, that's what we're going to do. That's what we do every year, every yes. season. About Colby, he didn't play. Yeah. Uh, Connor Colby didn't play. And then the running back could they be back next week. Yeah, Con so Connor came in at the end of the, uh, when, when Nick came out, Connor okay. came in. He, he was uh, came out of last week's game a little bit, uh, you know, dinged up, if you will, and uh, practiced, I guess, Friday, yesterday, um, and was kind of like a reserve guy, emergency guy. But he came out of the game clear, so we're good to go with him. We'll get him back in there. And, um, what was the other question? Running backs. Running backs, Running backs. Running backs. yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll right. see, I, you know. Uh, hopefully, if not next week, the week after, but it'll, it'll be good to get a couple more veteran guys in there. And uh, Kamari, you know, Kamari sticks it up there and runs hard, so. It's a good start, but just be good to have a little more firepower. Okay.